Okay, let's start this video with a picture of the galaxy we're discussing. Um, it's right here. And yeah, you cannot see it very easily. And that's because this is an extremely dim dwarf galaxy, surprisingly close to the Milky Way. Which is why originally when I was going to make this video, I was going to name it something like the darkest galaxy hiding a massive secret. But that was a little bit too cheesy, so I think I changed it to something else. Anyway, hello wonderful person, this is Anton. Today we're going to be discussing some of the new discoveries from this very bizarre and very unusual dark galaxy not so far away from us, that for many years was a little bit mysterious and also just a little bit difficult to explain. But a galaxy that also presented us with the perfect opportunity to study the biggest mystery in the universe, dark matter. And that's because previously it was believed that the only reason this galaxy can exist was basically if it was made out of dark matter, as nothing else made a lot of sense. And mostly because of this. This is kind of what this galaxy looks like. It's just a few stars and a few very bright objects that seem to orbit a relatively dense environment super quick. And so if something was not holding these stars together, they would have already fell apart and became their own individual objects. Yet because they seem to be orbiting the center, the best explanation here was dark matter, some kind of an invisible massive matter holding everything together, which obviously exists in a lot of other galaxies as well. And normally when scientists study dark matter, they do actually look for these dwarf spheroidal galaxies because they present us with the best possible chance to understand what's happening. This would be galaxies like this, NGC 147, or even this. This is much closer to us, known as Fornax. And that's because a lot of these galaxies are very compact, they contain a lot of stars, but also seem to contain a lot of mass because otherwise the stars would fall apart. So here the only explanation is that they seem to be dominated by dark matter. And amongst all of these dark matter galaxies, especially galaxies that are barely visible, one of them really stood out. Segway 1. That's basically what you're not seeing here. Mostly because this galaxy holds the record for the largest ratio of dark mass to visible mass ever measured anywhere. With one estimate putting the ratio to about 1000 to 1. Basically for one visible mass there seems to be a thousand invisible particles holding everything together. Now for a typical galaxy like for example for the Milky Way this ratio is usually much lower. Something like 10 to 1 instead of 1000 to 1. Which made this galaxy very exciting. It was essentially the poster child for dark matter dominated objects. And because this was so close to us, about 75,000 light years away from the sun, it also made it super easy to study. But that's until some of the most recent studies from 2025. Here a lot of these new studies started to change our perspective on what's possibly happening in this galaxy and started to suggest that maybe it's not all dark matter after all. Or specifically, what we thought was purest example of a dark matter halo might actually be something much cooler. It might be an extremely massive central black hole. With this discovery, if confirmed, basically challenging some of our perspectives and even some of the ideas we have about evolution of the world galaxies. But first let's I guess discuss this galaxy a little bit more and what we know about it based on a few previous studies. So once again, Segway 1 is a satellite of the Milky Way. Basically it's orbiting the Milky Way galaxy and was potentially disrupted and destroyed by the Milky Way, eventually assuming a permanent orbit. And this is also a dwarf spheroidal galaxy, but in this case containing just a few stars. And because of this, this is also the faintest such galaxy known to us. There are basically only like thousand stars in total. And that makes it actually one of the smallest dwarf galaxies in terms of stars. In comparison, most of these galaxies usually have at least a million, usually several million. And these stars are so sparse and so diffuse that even trying to figure out which stars are part of this galaxy becomes extremely difficult. So it actually took a few years even to identify what's part of this galaxy and what's not. And by the way, you can actually learn about the initial discovery of this galaxy in one of the videos in the description. But what makes Segway 1 exciting for astronomers is the fact that it's also a kind of a time capsule. Or at least a time capsule in terms of composition. This is a chemically primitive galaxy and seems to contain extremely ancient stars. With astrophysicist Anna Frabel referring to this galaxy as an evolved fossil. Basically an extremely early galaxy that hasn't changed much in the last 10 billion years. And though in a normal galaxy stars usually explode and enrich the environment with a lot of metallic elements, basically through constant supernova which happen over and over and over again, here this stage seemed to have been skipped. 
because none of these stars are chemically evolved, and Segwe-1 appears to have halted the process of evolution very early. As a matter of fact, previous calculations established that the entire chemical evolution here was possibly only caused by like one or maybe two supernova in total. Or just to rephrase this, this galaxy only witnessed a few supernova of its own, with all of these stars remaining primitive. And because this galaxy did not have enough gas to keep growing, it eventually stopped making new stars and very likely remained this way for billions of years. But there was always this question of, so what's holding it together though? Why exactly are these stars not falling apart? And how can they be orbiting around the central point so fast? And so by studying the movement of these stars or the star kinematics, researchers set out on the dark matter hypothesis. And here this hypothesis suggested a massive amount of dark matter, and actually for one simple reason. As many of these dwarf galaxies orbit the Milky Way, they're actually also being tidally stripped and pulled apart, eventually turning into a very long string of stars referred to as a stellar stream. There's actually a new video about this coming out soon, so you know, subscribe and stuff if you want to learn more. But in this case, this galaxy was not turning into this, and something very massive was holding all of these stars together avoiding a much larger gravitational pull from the Milky Way. And a lot of analysis over the years resulted in basically the same conclusion. This had a lot of dark matter. Or at least that was the main hypothesis for many years. But these recent studies started to think about this a little bit differently. They actually focused on some of these stars, especially on the outskirts, that seemed to have already been stripped away by Milky Way and were no longer gravitationally bound to Segway 1, which would allow researchers to basically work out a kind of a mass profile for the entire galaxy. And so basically here, by doing something known as tidal correction, researchers produced a robust analysis of the mass structure around the galaxy. And so once the data was reanalyzed and some of the contamination was removed, here the new data revealed a very important clue about the internal dynamics. Segway 1 contained a large and significant increase in rotation the closer to the center you got. Or basically when it comes to the mass distribution, there seemed to be way more mass near the center compared to the outskirts. And this would be very difficult to explain if this was dark matter. And to be more specific, the overall velocity of these stars was about 4 km per second orbiting the center, but when you get closer and closer to the center, the rotation seems to jump dramatically, with stars orbiting at 9 to 14 km per second. And to researchers, this suggested that there was actually something very massive and very large right in the middle. Basically here, the sharp dramatic rise in rotation is a very strong indicator that there is a very large, very compact object in the middle. So here we're talking about a massive black hole. And so additionally, by using the advanced computer model called orbit-based dynamical model, they were able to figure out the overall mass distribution with even more accuracy. And then by testing different scenarios and by trying to compare theory with observations, mostly by varying four different components such as mass of stars, properties of the dark matter halo, and the potential mass of the central black hole, researchers discovered that only some of the models made sense. And so, for example, if they excluded a black hole, the models that fit the data required a dark matter halo profile with an extremely small scale radius, suggesting that the dark matter had to be unbelievably concentrated in the center which has never been seen before anywhere and would not really make much sense. Normally we expect dark matter to be sort of all over the galaxy and especially on the outskirts. Furthermore, all of the models without a black hole required stars to be on a highly radial orbit, with this particular structure being very unlikely and very rarely seen in any of the other galactic systems. But things became much easier if they actually assumed that there was a black hole. By including a central black hole, things made a lot more sense. For example, the orbital structures suddenly made sense, with stars moving randomly similar to other systems, and the motion of stars near the center also suddenly made sense, because in this case they would be just orbiting the black hole. As a matter of fact, they seem to be moving in a very similar way to what we observe near Sagittarius A star, the central black hole of the Milky Way. And so for Segway 1 to make sense, here it has to have a black hole of approximately 450,000 solar masses, which is roughly around 10 times smaller than the one in the Milky Way. And this measurement was quite robust and made a lot of sense even if there was a lot of dark matter as previously predicted. Which basically suggests that the central gravitational dynamics in Segway 1 seem to be mostly driven by a single black hole 
and not necessarily just the dark matter halo. Although in this case, the dark matter is still present as well. But if confirmed, this is a new mystery. Mostly because of how massive this black hole is compared to the actual galaxy. And that's because Segway's stellar mass is only estimated to be approximately 30,000 solar masses. Yet the black hole is 450,000. Suggesting that the central black hole is at least 15 times more massive than all of the stars. But in most large galaxies, including the Milky Way, the mass of the black hole is usually completely dwarfed by the total stellar mass and barely makes any difference. And so here this is completely unexpected. But this is also a super exciting discovery, once again if confirmed, based on what scientists have been seeing coming from the James Webb, which is actually one of the potential explanations here. And so one of the explanations here is that maybe this is actually an ancient little red dot. You can learn about this particular mystery in some of the videos in the description, but basically in the last couple of years, James Webb has been finding a lot of these little red dot objects whose origin and whose actual nature is completely unknown. We have no idea what these are, but they seem to contain something very powerful and something compact in the middle, potentially some kind of a black hole. And here scientists have always wondered, so what happened to these objects and what did they actually evolve into? Did they become some kind of galaxies, quasars, regular galaxies or dwarf galaxies, or did they basically disperse completely, leaving nothing behind? And because all of them are characterized by having extremely massive black holes in the center and very small stellar populations, if Segway 1 is indeed a little red dot relic, it means that we finally discovered something super exciting right next to us. Here we have a nearby object that allows us to study processes from the early universe, entirely governed by the black hole growth and involving galactic formation in the universe's infancy. But that's of course a very big if. This is a really huge hypothesis and will take a lot of evidence to prove. Alternatively, this could also be some kind of a stripped remnant. Essentially a part of a much larger galaxy that was slowly ripped apart as it passed closer and closer to the Milky Way, eventually getting completely destroyed by the tidal forces. And what was left behind is what we see now. A compact core, a few stars, and of course dark matter. So either way, whatever this galaxy is, it's definitely going to result in some exciting discoveries and will potentially teach us so much more about galactic formation and even maybe the universe itself. Here, if this is a central black hole, it was either a much larger galaxy or a mysterious little red dot. Which actually would explain why a lot of these stars seem to be so ancient and so completely unevolved. And so this very chemically primitive galaxy is possibly one of the most exciting objects near the Milky Way. And that of course proves that even these very small, unassuming and barely visible galaxies can potentially hide some of the biggest mysteries in the entire universe. Now as always this is just one of many studies and this work on Segway 1 is going to continue for many years, but you can find the studies I mentioned today in the description below. And so once we learn something else about this galaxy, we'll come back and discuss this more in some of the future videos. Until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon where you can find additional videos, videos without any ads and can DM me directly or by joining channel membership that grants you early access. Alternatively, you can also buy the wonderful person t-shirt in the description below. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.